This video is going to be about the code editor tweak style. So tweak style is a very powerful um, for the front end developer, um, but also you can uh, use PHP files in it as well. So anyway, um, when you see the interface, it looks like this. Um, it's very simple uh, file edit find when you need to, to find a, a code or something, go to select preview and the preferences as things like um, you if you want to wrap your code which it is on by default it's got um, emmet um, highlights indentions um, got a uh, different things and of course you you've got your different um, themes things like dark ambience and you would say that when you're coding um, or you could have a lighter one if you prefer that um, anyway, I just put it on a default, which some, looks something a bit like Sublime Text. But anyway, this here on the left is the workspace, which uh, has all your files that you're working on, your projects. On the right, it's all about your um, your. It's it's basically the the live view of your website. So if I just click on uh, this is the one I'm working on here. So you just click on there again. So all them files related to this page is on the left hand side. So here we now have uh, one that's probably added about five years ago or something like that. And as you see, it's, it goes like in responsive design like that. Okay. So when you look at the files, uh, say for example, your index, it looks in this attractive um, window, if you like. And it's got all the stuff there. And this is where you, you edit everything. Okay. There's a, a, a really here on the top here. Where it has. This is your filter. So they have HTML style sheet scripts. And if you go to the next one. It will only have your HTML files. So for example. If I did that. Um, and just brought that up there. Okay. So there's only one HTML file. If you did style sheets. You have uh, five style sheets for this page. This one here is your script, which is only three. But this with your HTML and your style sheets, and you have them, which is related to this page. Okay, so which is a really, uh, I think, it's a nice, nice feature. Another fantastic feature, and I've never ever seen this in any other editor. I might be wrong, but I've never seen it. Um, is this here and what that is select element to inspect so for example any element here I'll just bring this over a little bit okay so any element say for example we want the header okay so now you'll get all the CSS that's related to that header on this left pane and I think that's really good and then you can edit it and do things like that um, the other thing as well is that it's got Google developer uh, things as well, which is the uh, right pane when it works. Okay, so here it is. So here you have, uh, you know, the things if you, oops, just gone down. If uh, you've probably used this if you're a developer, um, and that's quite a, a good uh, thing as well. I prefer actually this idea on the left. Certainly for CSS, but every every element in the thing is, say even this image, okay, and that and the, it, this all relates to that. So yeah, so that's that's one thing that I really um, you know I find that's that's really attractive about this thing. Okay, um, and there's there's lots of it has lots of good qualities. Um, this editor <coughs> on this. Uh, comes off when I've got me my, um, my screenshot program running and that when it's video it takes up a lot of uh, uh, space and things like that so it's slower <clears throat> so another thing that for example if you wanted to see anybody's website really but I'm just using this as a, um, a demonstration so what you could do here it's got a, an um, address bar up the top so you just put that in there so paste and here you get all your CSS files from that website. So when they come up, um, 
in fact it's more than CSS so they find um, this this is like sort of transferred under there not um, literally as you could actually edit it from here and then it would be live if you like but it, it, it say for example this is one of my websites and if I found a problem with it and I couldn't really work it out online um, I would just try to, to do it just do it in, in this and uh, find the element that I wasn't happy about and then re-edit it and, and then just put it back up so I think that's a, a fantastic um, feature for this and then again is your when I've just clicked the top there this is the CSS for that okay so that's uh, a few highlights for this um, if we go back to the workspace okay so how you would um, actually start off a new project is you would have a folder somewhere and that folder you would just say add project and you come to this and I'll, I'll just pick this at random AP is what I'm going to do okay select folder just click this okay so this will be down here it goes automatically down there so it's if you wanted um i'll just go in there i'll just zoom in there so there you've got the ap if you wanted to have another folder you would see a new directory if you want a new file say for css js or anything you would just put new uh yeah new file and if you want to delete the project or any project that's um, you know that's what you do you just delete that and here with the HTML is this is obviously I'll just come out again um, this is hello world and then you know then you would build it up you'd have your CSS files if you like or you know your JavaScript files and it also has um, you can read PHP files as well as long as you've got the uh, WAMP or um, other like you know it's, it doesn't it doesn't work without a local server but I mean there's there's so many good things about this um, this tool that it's probably my favorite one now go to it's it's not the biggest eyed um, something like HTML kit tools is is the biggest eyed but this is the one that really has everything you need um, in one place and, and things like I know I've if anybody's uh, seen the video about JavaScript Emmet in in um, in this uh, program but I mean you have things like div um, I'll just show that div and if you wanted to have that nine times for example you just click that and there's your there's all your divs so it has Emmet on which is uh, an absolute must for me because it saves bunches of time um, you know just if you had uh, for example you wanted to wrap and uh, image and, I don't know paragraph times times six um, oops and that's gonna write but um, yeah so there's there's lots of there's lots of things with this that um, you know has, has got some great uh, things it's uh, it's not wanting to do it there while I'm on I must be pressing something that's wrong but um, yeah so it has has um, really some some interesting tools um, and I would say that that's it's very well worth having a trial on it yeah um, you know and it, it's it's very attractive and I've used it for probably about three years and it's still um, it's one of these things that it's still really you know it's still in its infancy in a way um, there's, there's a lot of good things for it but this it's still got a way to go um, but yeah so anyway I hope uh, that's helped in some ways and uh, there's I'm sure there's all sorts of things that I haven't thought about uh, questions and that so Anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.